All right, so we are on day five of your cubism collage with your shape you've chosen. So at this point, you should have your pencil, you should have your pointillism. For this demo and technique, we are gonna be using oil pastels. You will find these in the shelving right by the window and the air conditioner is labeled oil pastels. There are four packs that look like this, okay? So you just need one pack per table. You're gonna grab a pack when you are ready and you need to just decide on some colors you'd like to work with. One thing that's fun with oil pastels is you can do a lot of mixing and blending. So because I have chosen the peacock, um, I'm going to pick some colors that make me think of the peacock and would be kind of fun to work with. So I'm gonna use a lot of purples here, a lot of greens. If you notice that you can't get to the oil pastel, you can carefully peel the paper away. Just try not to leave, try to leave some of the paper still on your oil pastel, okay? I also like to work with some lighter values so that I can get some nice mixing. So I'm gonna pick this kind of teal color, all right? So with oil pastels, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start on my main subject, uh, which is the peacock's body here. And I'm just gonna create a little guideline or outline for me so I know where I'm working uh, with my oil pastels currently. So I'm gonna work on his body first and then I'll work on the feet in the background. Okay. With oil pastels, you really need to layer them um, quite thick in order to be able to get the nice properties um, that you can get with mixing them. So I'm gonna first put down a lot of pigment here before I can work with blending and such. If you start to notice things coming through, that's just because there is a little impression on my paper, probably from drawing something else. So you just need to kind of overlap those colors there a little bit so you can get the nice solid base. All right, right here at his tummy, I'm gonna kind of switch to more of a teal color. The other option with oil pastels, if you don't wanna work in color, because as you can see, this is my first time going in there with color, which I kind of like. Um, you could do a value study with just black, white, and gray oil pastels if you wanted to keep everything monochromatic or one color. That would be another option uh, that you could do if you really don't want to have color and you want everything to be just simply black, whites, and gray. Okay, so now I have a base and I'm gonna work with some mixing now. So I have just a white oil pastel. I'm gonna go over top of my dark blue there and just kind of show there's a little bit of feathers there gonna work back and forth with some of my other colors to build up some textures on the feathers. So you see you can get a much nicer blending once you have a base already. I like to go in there with black and white a lot to create some shapes, some values to work with. I like to also use my finger to kind of blend those things together if needed. Also, if there's areas that look a little bit unfinished or um, you know, they need to have a little more pigment, you can use your finger to kind of smudge that pigment over to that area. Okay, so now I'm working on this little teal area. So I've added some nice contrast in his feathers with the black, blended a little bit on top of that. And I might go back and add more. Um, if you need a reference, because you want to make it look like a realistic peacock, you know, feel free to pull up an image on your Chromebook. Um, I'm just kind of going with some ideas to, to make it look peacock-ish, you know, not really like I am trying to follow a photo, but I'm just thinking of colors you would normally see in a peacock and working with those colors. But if you really want to go for high realism, a reference is certainly helpful in that situation. All right, so now I'm on his leg. So again, I'm going to put down a base. So I'm going to use gray here. And don't be worried if you get outside the line a little bit. Um, you know, I'm going to be coloring the background as well. So I can go in there and crisp up some of that a little bit with the background color. And kind of go over top of anything that I feel like needs to be a little bit cleaner. Okay. Just tracing the feet there. Okay, I'm gonna blend it a little bit just so it's a little softer. So I don't have such a sharp black edge Maybe add a little detail, like there's some claws here. Okay. So now um, I'm gonna work on the background and that's kind of a fun place to just experiment with some blending a little bit. Um, again, I'm paying attention to just this little 
section of my cubism collage here and I'm just using oil pastels in that section. Oh, if they break, it's not a big deal, just to kind of go back. Um, so I'm gonna kind of blend that a little bit. Okay. Maybe down here, make it look like there's a little bit of some grass around his feet. Uh, I am noticing I got a little bit of oil pastel in the pointillism. So, you know, if something like that happens, that's your choice, how you wanna deal with it. I could either try and cover that up. Um, <clears throat> the other option would be, which is the option I'm gonna go through, I'm just gonna extend my oil pastel into that area that I made a little boo-boo. <clears throat> and there's no reason why that doesn't work because it's all broken up into sections of different techniques anyways, okay? So, you know, accidents happen, you just gotta kind of problem solve. Um, you could have divided up that space into something else and then done oil pastels there as well. I could have extended the space over top of my Sharpie because oil pastels would cover Sharpie. You just have to really make sure you layer them thick. Okay. I'm using the side of the oil pastel here. I'm going to go ahead and trace my edges just like I did with the peacock body just so I can kind of see where I'm at when I'm working here. Do be careful when you get to the oil pastels because they will tend to smear. So I'm trying to keep that in mind as I'm doing this, that I'm making sure I am not dragging my hand across the table and um, just kind of being aware of my workspace. I'm layering a little bit of that nice teal into there, just trying to practice some overlapping. If you have a lot of issues with it smearing, um, you can spray some fixative on there, which will just help to solidify the pigment. Um, so you just have to kind of let me know if that's something that you need to do. Okay, so uh, there is some oil pastels.